In this week's Winter Rideout, we investigate the remains of Whitfield Airfield in North Shropshire. Bit of a surprise for this week's winter ride out. When we got up in the morning we found the sun was shining and it's actually quite warm. We put all our winter gear on anyway because winter. But after we covered a few miles we found we we're actually getting quite toasty. Our destination today is two miles south of the village of Tinstock, just outside Whitchurch. Priest was once the site of an army camp. This opened in 1915 was a training base for the British Army and had a capacity of around 30,000 men where they trained in trench warfare, ready for the Western Front. For a short period at the beginning of World War II, the site was used as an internment camp for Austrian and German refugees, before eventually being turned over to the RAF, where it became RAF Tilstock. This was essentially a training station, where the pilots of Whitley's, Stirling and Halifax Heavy Bombers learned to cut their teeth before actually going into combat. The base remained in use up until the 1950s, and eventually in the 1960s, it was handed over for civil use again and today is used by a parachute club although some of the field on one side of the road is now covered with solar panels. The other side of the A49 however is now given over to wildlife including the old control tower which is given over to a colony of bats. There's the hangar. Apparently it's used as a reserve for bats, isn't it? Yeah. I believe. To stop people going into it. Which is kind of cool. Doesn't look like you could come down here. Every day is a school day. I think all this area used to be an airfield. This is all taxiways. It's all been torn up. Oh. Some there's probably some bunkers and things still under the ground, you know, that was so you can see over there that would have been a bunker. Over to the right of the hangar there. Not the hangar, uh, the control tower. It's used as a training base apparently. I don't think it was ever used as a combat base.
Come on, mate. Right. Should we get some food? Yeah. It's quite cool here, isn't it, actually? It's quite nice. Mm. It's a wildlife. You can imagine people coming down here on mountain bikes, can't you? Yeah. Sort of bobbing around. So that was probably a tarmac, wasn't it? But yeah, I wonder what was there before. Probably where they've torn up the runway and just chucked it into lumps, you know, something like that. Because there would have been taxiways all around here. Couldn't really make it, well, you could make out the paths, couldn't you? And maybe that sort of past you follow is the old taxiways and roadways around what the, would have been the airfield. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, maybe we'll see better when we, when we look at the drone footage. Yeah, there is, yeah. We've got the barracks a couple of miles, well, about a mile down the road. And I noticed there's a couple of um, air raid shelters, you know, that are dug into the ground here. We sort of, there's one what we passed earlier on, you can see. So I'll just take a look over and we can see the old airboats there, just over to our left side. That's where we were walking a few minutes ago. If you know of any places that would be really interesting for us to visit, please comment down below. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, thank you very much for watching.